is to put the LEDs in groups of three, solder them together, and then they can be tested out with an ordinary 9 volt battery. So that's the first step. Solder them together in groups of three. Then the next step is to take several of those groups of three and solder them together in alternating directions, back and forth. So there'll be three aimed one way, three aimed the other way as far as polarity. And put that together in a group of, uh, in the case of a 17 inch display, 27 LEDs total. Once you get the LEDs soldered up, three forward, three backwards, three forward, three backwards, then you put these little red wires, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but it's 30 gauge wire wrapping wire to connect them all together. You have to use a really small wire because any wire will prevent light from being reflected properly. Uh, you get them all wired together with a jumper wires, and jumpers go every six LEDs, so you got you know, the positive every six and the negative every six, alternating. And then you hitch it up to a battery and it all should work. Of course, I tested this out before I turned the camera on to make sure it worked. And there we go, 27 LEDs all lit up in a row. Okay, the next step is to disassemble your display. First of all, you can remove the uh, backlight. Don't need that anymore. Um, this one, we've already taken the back cover off. The next thing is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven screws. I've actually already removed all those screws. I'll hold it into the front face plate. So take it out of the face plate. And then next, there's a whole bunch of screws that hold the uh, LCD display on. It occurred to me, I missed something. It's kind of a little tricky. Before you uh, completely separate the LCD from the electronics, you need to find the little cable that carries the data to the uh, electronics. And now we've got that removed. Now, again, this has already been modified. So it uh, looks a little different than what you would encounter. But um, the next step is to find the little gold, little gold uh, trays. There's normally a screw holding them in. And remove them from the uh, display. I just removed the wrong one. Minus two points. Okay, once you get the trays removed, you'll find in them these uh, little light assemblies. Um, one wire runs the whole length underneath and you have to clip it at both ends because it's stuck down here in the corner and I just leave it behind. And you take this out and I show you this in one piece to prove it is possible to get these out in one piece, although I did bust some of the uh, rubber stuff off the end. But they're very, very delicate and they contain a trace of mercury. Once you get the uh, tray removed, the next step is to put the LED, wrong assembly, I've got two of them sitting here, is to put the LED assembly into the tray. Now, part of the problem is it doesn't fit in straight. You have to actually put it at a 45 degree angle. If you look inside the tray, where the dent is for the wire, it's a little bit deeper on that side. So you put it, the LEDs in towards that side and get them stuffed down in there, and they'll, like I say, they'll be at an angle, they're not going to be straight. And then when you first put them in, they're bound to determine to hit. You could probably put a little piece of clear tape or something on the end to keep them from hitting. But with a little bit of work, you can get them in there. Once you get them in, you can check your alignment by using a 9 volt battery. Again, now when you actually hook these up, it'll be 12 volts, which is too much for them. So you have to put a 10 or 12 ohm resistor in series with them. But testing on the test bench, you'll hook them right up to a 9 volt battery. And basically, you want to make sure the arrays are centered. Hmm, must be a polarity rod. 
You have to make sure the arrays are centered underneath or the top and bottom screen. There's actually two of them, one top and one bottom. This screen was actually previously modified. They're not doing very good, am I? There it comes. Why didn't it? Oh, great. Ah, there it comes. Moment of truth. Let's kill the light and we can do a side by side comparison. I'd say the brightness is very similar. The biggest difference is the stripes. Uh, the cloud isn't quite as white, too, indicating there's a slight bit of bluing in the picture.